How's it? Today is January 11th. It's Monday. It's a snatch day. And turns out, I don't know how to work my GoPro. So I ended up deleting all the important stuff. So the block power snatches, the snatch um, RDLs, and most of the push press warm up sets. But this is what I did today. These are the exact numbers that I did. And there's nothing really spectacular about any of those numbers, or I didn't miss any of those lifts but yeah I feel like such a dummy because I guess when I wanted to delete a bunch of stuff I selected select all and then it deleted all of the things but I noticed that probably right after this uh, set so at this point I, I, I'm like really frustrated <laughs> about what's happening so yeah, I mean, these are just my, my final two warm-up sets before my top set of 85 at 5 plus 1 for the snatch push press. And it's just a frustrated, frustrated day. Um, you can see here it says fail because I actually end up failing the front squat. I think as I go down, my my shoulders kind of tighten up. It It's not heavy in, in any sense. And it's definitely a weight that I could front like overhead squat really well. Like, yeah, there I tried to push back on it, but um, I wasn't able to, and I got really frustrated. So here is me redoing that. I'm I'm a little curious as to how much I should be doing next week. I think 90 will be fine. It's just that I don't know if Steve would like me to do that. But here is the overhead squat. No problem this time. Yeah. Then I moved into my accessories that are just the pull-up pyramid and then abs. So I talked to Steve about this and he said take maybe 30 seconds or so in between each quote-unquote set. And so that's what I did. Last week I went up to six, pyramid up to six, and then pyramid back down from six to one. <laughs> and that is a total of 42 reps, but when going to seven, that is 56 reps. Maybe next week I'll be able to do eight if I can kind of space my, my rests a little bit better. I think I rush a little bit at the beginning, and it's just that those set at the beginning are a little bit easier but I think that maybe if I pace myself a little bit more and give myself that rest at the beginning that a little bit less fatigue will be built up so yeah so here's my me moving into my top set of seven and it as you can see it's like not the most clean pull-ups I'm starting to swing backwards and I'm barely getting my head over the bar so I knew that this was like basically where I would have to, to cut it. I wanted to do like eight or nine today, but that just wasn't. <laughs> like when I think about that now, there's no way on earth I would have been able to do that. Eight more is a total of 16 extra reps. And then nine more is 16 plus 18, right? So that's, I can't do math. 34 more reps on top of this 56 total. Um, so me having that in my head was a little bit overzealous and you know I'm glad I had to stop it at seven so maybe next week I'll just go up to eight for one and then it'll be like one two three four five six seven eight seven six five four three two one but it yeah these 56 reps um, definitely felt a lot more than the original I did at 42 um, yeah, you can see me here kind of just like walking around struggling to squeeze my, my hand because I'm just feeling an, an extreme amount of fatigue throughout my whole upper body here. And then it was just my last one. I still can't believe I deleted those videos. I was, I think I was um, lifting pretty well. Uh, there's no proof of that but I I know I was doing pretty well and I, I wish I could show you show me in the future but that is 
not possible anymore. And so to finish off, I do the GHD sit-up. I think that sometimes this puts a lot of pressure on my hip flexor, but today it seemed okay for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's a setting that I had the GHD at. In any case, that was it. Pretty disappointed that I deleted things, but good workout overall. Thank you for watching. Shoots.